Okay, now that we've listened to our story, if the dinosaurs came back, and we have learned all about dinosaurs today, we are going to get ready and do our project. Now, we're going to be making a picture, and just like the artwork we just looked at, we are going to be making what we call a cityscape. And basically, a cityscape is just a picture of the city. And we know cities have lots of buildings, and those buildings have lots of windows. So the cityscape that we are going to be creating today, we are going to do it kind of like they did in the book we listened to. And we've got the cities that the buildings are all just black and white, and then the dinosaur is the only thing that's in color. So we're going to start by drawing our buildings, and then we're going to outline them with our black marker. And then I have a little dinosaur for everyone, and we're going to add our dinosaurs to our pictures. So first thing we need to do is get our pencils. I've got my Sharpie, and we are going to start drawing. Now, our picture is going to be going long ways today, okay? Remember, tall is when it's going up and down. We want our picture to be long today. Nice, long picture. Okay, so we are going to start and we're going to draw our first building in the center of our picture. And we want to make it really big. Look at my first building. See how wide it is? If I take my hand and spread it out, it's as big as my hand. And my hands are a whole lot bigger than yours. So your building needs to be really, really big. This one goes almost all the way to the top of my paper. And it takes up a lot of room. So I'm going to draw it right here in the middle of my paper. So I'm going to start with a tall vertical up and down line. Now, does it need to be perfectly straight? Nope. Remember, we're doing ish drawings. It's going to look building-ish, okay? So I start with my line here, and then I'm going to come over, and I'm going to do another tall vertical line. So I drew two lines, almost like a road, almost. And then in the middle, I'm just going to connect them. And again, it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. My building, it's not a perfect rectangle, but that's okay, because we're just having fun. So get your first building, and then we're going to work on the windows. Okay, now the windows for this building are going to be tall rectangles. Okay, they're going to be tall rectangles. And as you can see in my example, they're not perfectly straight. They're not all the same size. It's okay. We're just having fun. So I'm going to follow the same steps that I did making my building. So watch, I'm going to draw a straight line, kind of like a lowercase l or the number one. And then I can turn it into a capital L. Okay, turn it into a capital L. And then from the bottom of my L, I'm gonna come back up. And now it kind of looks like the letter U. And then I draw a line at the top and that makes a rectangle. So let me show you that again. I draw a straight line down like the number one Draw a little line over so it looks like a capital L. Draw a straight line back up so it looks like a U. This one kind of looks like it's getting ready to spell out O-U something. And then I connect it at the top. Okay, and I'm gonna do that again. Straight line down like the number one little line over to make it look like a capital L. Straight line back up so it looks like a capital U. And then a line at the top connecting it because rectangles have how many sides? One, two, three, four. 
And then I'm going to add another one. Straight line down, number one. Little line over, capital L. Straight line up, letter U. And then little line over, and I have a rectangle window. Okay, so I'm going to keep doing that, and I'm going to fill in my whole building. Straight line down, number one. Little line over, capital L. Straight line up, letter U. And straight line across, rectangle. Now, if you can only fit three windows across, that's fine. If you could fit five or six, that's fine too. Does your picture look, need to look exactly like mine? Nope, it doesn't. Doesn't need to look like mine at all. Okay, I'm gonna keep drawing my rectangle windows. Straight line down, number one. Little line over, capital L. Straight line up, letter U. Little line across, rectangle. Straight line down, number one. Little line across, capital L. Straight line up, letter U. Little line across, rectangle. Straight line down, number one. Little line across, capital L. Straight line up, letter U. Little line across, rectangle. Okay, let's fill in the rest of our buildings with these rectangles. So just take a couple minutes and keep following those steps I taught you. Straight line down, number one. Little line across, capital L. Straight line up, letter U. Little line over, rectangle. So just keep going. Add those rectangles. They do not have to be perfect. Nothing ever has to be perfect in art. We're just doing ish, because we're just learning, just having fun. Okay, so take another minute or two and finish the windows on this building and then we're gonna start a new building. Okay, now we're gonna work on our next building. So we are gonna come over here on the right side of our paper. And this building, this is where we're gonna put our dinosaur. So we want this building to be kind of short so our dinosaur will fit on top. So I'm gonna start a little bit below the halfway mark on my paper. So if you come up about halfway, we're just gonna draw one line from our building over to the edge and we made a new building. How cool is that? Just one line and now we have a new building. OK, 
Okay, now this building, we're gonna have little square windows. Okay, so rectangles have two sides that are long and two sides that are short. A square, all four sides should be about the same size. So it's pretty much the same steps. You draw a line down, like a number one, except this time when you make your capital L, it looks a little long, it looks almost too long. And then we come up and connect, and that makes a little square. And if it's a little more of a rectangle than a square, again, that's fine. We're just learning. It's square-ish. So we're gonna follow those same steps. Line down like a number one. Line across like a long letter L. Then up, and again, it's gonna kinda look like a U. And then we draw the line across. And we're gonna do that, and you fit as many windows in your building as you can. I can only fit three, but in this picture, I was able to do five because I made them a little bit smaller. So if you're drawing them a little bit smaller, you might be able to fit five or six over here. Or if you're drawing them a little bit bigger, you might only be able to fit two. It's your picture, it's your city. You draw however many windows you can fit into your building. But we are gonna fill the entire building up with windows. So we're going to keep going. So we'll going to give us a couple minutes to draw all the windows in this building. My windows in this picture seem to be getting bigger as I move down my page, but that's fine. It doesn't matter. Your windows can be big or small. It doesn't matter as long as we got some windows. So take a couple more minutes and... Please pardon interruption. Please pardon interruption. Virtual teachers at time. Would you please come to Ms. Valeska's room and get your iPad? All virtual teachers need to come at this time to get your iPad. Thank you. Okay, so take about another minute and finish making your windows. And then we've got one more building to do. Okay, last building, we don't want it to be as tall as this one. So we're just gonna draw a line, come up towards the top, and again, we're just gonna draw a straight line over to the edge of our paper. One line makes a whole brand new thing. Now the windows in this building, see how these windows are tall rectangles? And these are long rectangles. So I made these going long, because I want my windows to look different. That way my buildings look different and it makes them interesting. So again, same steps for a rectangle and a square. We start with that line down, like a number one, the line over, and this one's gonna be really long. And then I do my line up and a long line for the top. And this one, I'm only put two rectangle windows in this one. But again, you put as many as you can fit. If you can fit two, that's great. If you can put four or five, how many ever you want. Your building, your windows, your artwork. But we have to follow the same steps for a rectangle. Line down like a number one. Line over. Line up. And then across the top to connect it. Four sides for a rectangle, four sides for a square. And they don't have to be perfect, remember? Ish. It's 
an ish drawing. Nothing ever has to be perfect. As long as we're all happy with our work, that's all that matters. Okay, so finish up your windows. And when you're finished with your windows, you can put your pencil up. So now that we have our buildings done, what we need to do is we need to get in our bag of supplies and we need our black marker, black marker. And then what we're going to do is we are going to trace over every single line we made. Okay. So I'm going to start at the very beginning. And I'm going to start with that very first building I drew. And I'm going to take my black marker and I'm going to draw over all of my Sharpie lines. You're going to go over your pencil lines. And we don't want to leave any pencil lines showing. Okay? So I'm going to go over all my pencil lines, all my rectangle windows, all my buildings. And this way, this will make it look like the book we listen to. With those black and white buildings. And then at the end, we're going to add our dinosaur. And once you've finished one building, you just move on to the next. So some of you probably aren't going as me, and that's fine. Take your time. Make your picture look neat. Make sure you're getting every one of those windows darkened in with your marker.
Okay, and then once I'm done with my marker, what do I need to do? Snap that cap. And then I'm done with my marker and I'm done with my bag. So once I'm finished with my marker, I can zip my bag closed and that's all I need it for. So if you're still on your tracing, that's okay. Um, but I want everyone to stop for just a second and look up at the screen. So even if you're still tracing over your buildings, just stop for one second and everybody look at the screen in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now, everyone is going to have a dinosaur. Now, what I've done is I have put some tape on the back of your dinosaur. I'm not going to use glue. I put some tape on it. So, your dinosaur should be laying beside you with the tape up, looking like this. So, what you're going to do is you're just going to carefully pick up your dinosaur, and then we are going to put him on one of the buildings. Now, does he have perfectly straight? No, I'm gonna put mine kind of crooked so it looks like he's kind of like trying to eat the building a little bit. And once I have him where I want him, I'm gonna press down on that tape and then I can't move him, can I? Nope, he's stuck on there good now, okay? So once you're done tracing, you're gonna put your down wherever you want. I like to put mine on top of a building. You can put yours down here at the bottom. You can put it over here. You can put your dinosaur wherever you want him. Okay, but once you put him down and the tape sticks to the paper, you can't pick him up again. Okay, so finish tracing all your buildings and windows. Put your dinosaur on your paper and make sure you snap that cap and put your black marker back in your bag. And we now have a picture of a city, which we call Escape, with our dinosaur, just like the book we listened to. So, I hope you guys had fun, and until next time.